I would do is I would take the next year and watch the company grow and maybe see the stock price grow a little bit, drop a little bit, pick up a little bit. But if anything that I sell north of a dollar, I'm in the gold. I, I'm, I've already got 150% return on my investment. Now I've just got the gravy. Everything else I got for that 50,000 shares that's left over is gravy. That's why we like to talk about Reg A, because not only do the investors make out, the company makes out, everybody has an opportunity, an opportunity, and I don't want to be misrepresented. I don't want you guys trolling me on Twitter to be everybody's represented that has the opportunity to make a little something on their investment. And that's what the important part of this is, Ron. So that's it. That's all I got for today. You know, guys, one more, you one got more question, Miguel. one more question on, on, on the warrants. Uh, you mentioned that you get a warrant. It's almost like a, you know, an, an extra kind of share at a discounted price. Uh, what happens if the investor doesn't exercise the warrant? Is it just, does they just go away? Or I, I guess why would they want not to do that? But still, I bet you that situation doesn't arise. Yeah, that's why you put a warrant limit on it, you know, because it gets clawed back. You buy, so the company buys, it, buys the right back from the investor like at a penny. So normally the buyback for the company is a, is a penny, a nickel, a quarter, and they'll buy that back. They'll buy, that, they'll buy it back from – or some I've seen some do cashless. So it, they're all cashless. So if you don't exercise it in three months – I mean, I'm sorry, in three years, the company sends you a letter and says, hey, uh, you know, this warrant that you purchased, uh, you know, that you had the right to purchase is going to expire next month. Would you like to participate? And the investor says no. Then the company says, okay, well, you know, we're buying it back or we're claw- it's called clawing it back. We claw it back. It goes back into the warrant. In the warrant, Dude, I've even seen people take warrants public, okay, and do a whole market for the warrant. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a great little strategy, uh, something that definitely needs to be reviewed. I would definitely review it with your SEC attorney and make sure that you get the information that you need uh, about common uh, and then we'll talk about, you know, one of the things that we didn't talk about, Ron, we just talked about common, we talked about warrants, we talked about debt, but we didn't mention anything about preferred stock because preferred stock, I think, is a whole different animal in itself. It needs to have its own ability to be, you know, the light to shine on it. And you guys have to continue to listen to the Reggae Money Show with Ron Costa and me, Miguel Dotris, and then we'll give you the scoop on, we'll give you the scoop on, preferred shares and what preferred shares mean to you yeah that'll be a good show well let's, let's add that to the growing list of topics that we need to cover on this reggae M- miguel the inbox is getting really really high <laughs> well it's what do you good. expect ron what do you expect we got the cutting edge information buddy we got the information yeah, that everybody wants we got the ear candy we got the ear candy of the next generation entrepreneurs we got the revelations of the next uh, 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 entrepreneurs that are going to be taking over their industries. We got the information that these guys are looking for, so why not? Why is the inbox not, not full, completely full with questions and topics? It is. That's why. Because we got the ear candy, Ron. Everybody knows it. Yeah, and plus we have the Reg A Symposium coming up, like you mentioned before. That's regasymposium.com. People can go to that web- website, see what we have in mind for that. And Miguel, as always, a uh, great show today. Really, really great information. Folks, if you're out there, we really appreciate you listening. We appreciate you subscribing. You can find us at regamoney.com. That's R-E-G-A money.com. We are syndicated all over the place. We're on iHeartRadio. We're on SoundCloud. We're on iTunes. We're on Stitcher. We're on Spreaker. Uh, soon to be on Spotify. I mean, Miguel, this is blowing up in a good way. And finally, if you guys want to call us, you got a question or whatever, you want, you, you want, to, you want to get your reggae going, Give us a call, 612-888-REG-A, R-A-G-A. So, Miguel, thanks again for another great show. And everyone out there, we'll be with you next week with another Reg-A Money Show. Thanks for listening. Later.